What's going on guys? We're back playing some Horizon Zero Dawn. We're gonna see if we can't uh figure out what's there are the handholds, right where you said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. Yeah, what in the hell is going on? Alright, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. Fantastic. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disc, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that. And the focus network will crash. All right. So you were part of the eclipse. I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. We know that. But it is the case that I assisted the eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. Well, I mean, come on, man. We, we, we gotta kind of know this stuff, right? <clears throat> and just let's see what's through here. Corrupted machines. Of course. Like soldiers. Held in reserve for war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy way in? The back way. I didn't say it'd be easy. More like the shit-tastic way to be in. Thanks, bro. I need this. You don't see nothing. And I can't fight all these damn corrupted machines. There's a buttload of them. See nothing. All gone. I don't know if I can take him down or not. If I should. Walk on over there. The machine saw me. What? We're gonna run. We gotta run. We gotta run. No, I can't get up there. I can't get up there. Run, Aloy, run. Run. There's nowhere to go right here. 
here to... Where do I go? No! I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. the tall neck. Is that him that I hear? I don't see nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go hang out on your own side, bro. We're all good here. of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. 
Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see uh. that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. We got company! Of course he was right there. Run from righteousness. What? Bleed for the shadow. Oh. That just happened. Think about the food. Okay. If a rabbit is good enough for the rest of us, it's good enough for him. Company. What are you talking about? There's no company. There's nobody around here. See? Nobody's here. way here sneak around maybe okay, where are they at the more we dig for the ancient machines the stronger we grow oh, he's chilling right there I never even saw that guy Get out of here. She's gone. Run, run, run. I lost her. Get back into hiding. No reason to search. Don't let your guard down. Okay. Who Eyes on me, brother. Sneaking. Oh, shit. Head down. Ah. Uh. One, bro. Ah. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh, good. Another secret. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. Okay. 
So... Where is this thing at? What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. So long as King Itaman languishes at Sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. Shut up. My lord, the 13th king of the Karja Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Asaram filth toppled the... When I first set eyes on... I don't care. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of... Okay. When sleep refused... When I first set eyes on the buried ship, never does the sun show pit. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? Easy to drag a tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the Majuk and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. <clears throat> the sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. Can we really trust this guy? <laughs> Something definitely seems <coughs> off. I see the module. This. Good. Now be quick. This... This is Hades? Anyway, this is not the time. It's... a metal devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? 
I'm gonna die, guys. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Shit's blowing up all around me. Looks easy. Oh my god. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This is terrible. Go away, Lord. Come on. Run. Uh, I'm hurt. I'm hurt bad. Are you kidding me? I'm running. Almost there. The whole base high alert. Yeah, I know. Keep moving. I am moving. Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I'm running. No. Uh Are you kidding me? Don't fight. I want to die. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, what? Headlamp towards the camp. Almost there. The whole base is on high alert. Yeah, I noticed. Keep moving on your dog. Yeah, we noticed. Dude. Bridge in sight. That's the way out. Come on, come on, come on, no. come on. Well, that was fun. She's like, whew. This is that harder than I thought it was going to be. It's just craziness. going but you survived you knew Hades was there and you sent me to him I won't deny I risked your life but it was the only way now with the focus network down we can both get what we want access to the secrets of zero dawn I'm past trusting you with secrets good that means you're wising up trust is for fools it shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new signs of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's not for We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing, Aloy. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Some fall it is. And zero dawn. Sunfall. The Mad King drowns Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja Marsh against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this, Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Let's hope so. Just stay out of their way for now. <laughs> She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. 
Her name is Shiana. My sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... Uh, difficult. His soul is in shadow. His... soul is in shadow? Galif. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. I'll keep the moon from your brow. Karja bickering in the streets like petty Oseram. Sometimes I don't even recognize what you think. I hope the ceasefire brings some caravans. I'm sick and tired of rotten meat. I hope I find out some real damn answers pretty soon. Get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? Did I crash the network or not? Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. That was weird. Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Cards are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Mm hmm. By the glory of the sun revealed. What the hell is that dude wearing on his head? Radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First Watch time in the out. Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. For well, the Kestrels. Ah, I fear they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. You take him at his word? I never would have thought... The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. You want me to get... 
Over there? to know. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in. But this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Okay, let's go in. I hope I'm geared up and ready for this. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the Savage East. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Oh, for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Somebody's sure to notice that. I guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was... Uh. This room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. in here nothing I'll find a use for you yeah I'm assuming we're gonna need that 
take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. <gasps> Ooh, beverages and snacks. Where? Please proceed into viewing room one <laughs> for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. I want beverages and snacks. Wasn't I just promised beverages and snacks? Forget about traveling light. Yeah, yeah, we never we don't travel light. It's not really what we do, Aloy. You know this by now. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Interesting. Makes sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. No. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Oh well, yeah. I mean, clearly we we'll want to know. Castros, they got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Run. 
Ah, shit. Something broke. I'm stuck. Do this. Oops. Believe before the sun. Where you going? Where you going? Wow. Okay. We're too close to let tribal primitives stop us now. The data points, what do they contain? Evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, data in yes. Who did this? Initiating playback. Pharaoh? Elizabeth Sobek. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. 
It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So, the whole Earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead.